Happy New Year's Eve. We hope you're watching with a glass of champagne in your hand. Investor Beat starts now. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Hill, joined in studio by Taylor Muckerman, who I had to drag here away from the scene. Kicking and screaming. The scene in Times Square. Thank you for being <laughs> here. Welcome. Happy New Year's Eve. Um, we're wrapping up the year looking at the energy mm -hmm. industry, which is the industry that you focus That's on right. most closely. Yeah. Uh, before we start looking ahead to 2014, though, when you look back on 2013, some pretty big stories uh, in the energy industry. Yeah, you, what stands out to you? You got that right. A lot of storylines, but one of the bigger ones that I noticed is a lot of the bigger name oil companies are reshoring their operations rather than spending the high billions of dollars that they were internationally. They're kind of trying to sell those. Granted, some of them are at a discount because of geopolitical risk, but you look at ConocoPhillips, one of the largest uh, upstream oil producers in the world, focusing 55% of next year's budget on the United States after selling out of some assets this year. So that is continuing into the 2014 calendar year. And then Apache, another company that was struggling mightily with Egyptian assets holding back their share price, sold out of that. And now we're turning to the Permian Basin where they're the largest acreage holder there to drive some growth, whereas originally they were just looking for cash growth there, not necessarily production growth. And they're following the lines of Pioneer Natural Resources that has been doing tremendous things and believes they sit on 7 billion barrels of oil equivalent down there in the Permian Basin. So the United States is still kicking and screaming in the energy sector. Uh, when Evan New was here yesterday in that chair and mm -hmm. I asked him about the technology industry, he said Mark Zuckerberg was his CEO for okay. 2013. Not too bad. Who stands out in the energy industry as the business leader of the year? Well, if you look at the industry, they're going to say Harold Hamm. He was just uh, awarded the 2013 Energy CEO of the Year by Platts Global Energy Awards. But in my mind, I'm looking at Solar Cities, Linden Rive. This is a guy who's leading a, dis a disruptive company in an energy industry that's very um, th not appreciative of change. Fossil fuels command a lot of clout on the on the hill, along with uh, just energy infrastructure in general. So seeing Solar City grow their deployed megawatts to the degree that they have, and also he was 91% uh, like approved on Glassdoor, and it's also a top 20 company to work for in 2014. So he's doing things externally and internally within that energy company. A little tricky though when yeah. you talk about investing. Investing in energy, it seems a little safer to invest in oil than it is in solar. Certainly, yeah. It's not as volatile. Maybe the price of oil is just as volatile as solar, but the companies themselves are a little bit more stable. So you have to have a, a stomach that can handle the day-to-day -day volatility, hoping for the long-term gains. All right. When we look ahead to 2014, what are you going to be watching? Right, yeah, I'm looking at the offshore space. A lot of people said 2013 might have been the year for that, but the spending is still going to be there in 2014. I kind of middled along with Ensco uh, in my own personal portfolio. I'm still holding on to them thinking this year is going to be that year because they're the youngest fleet in the business in the ultra deep water space. While some people think day rates might be lower, utilization should continue. And then you could also play a more niche play in the jacket market in the Gulf of Mexico now that Mexico is reforming its energy industry with Hercules offshore where they strictly focus on the Gulf of Mexico in less than a thousand feet of water. So I could see some big things for them moving forward. Hercules Offshore, what a great brand name. It's a great I mean, name. Just yeah. from a branding <laughs> standpoint, you got to love that. All right, for Taylor Muckerman, I'm Chris Hill. Happy New Year. We'll see you tomorrow.